everyone, it's Rushni, and I am back with another vlog. First of all, excuse the background. As you know, I am a mother and I have a kid and life is happening, so get over it if you don't like something you see back there. I've had this bump on the side of my head for like two weeks. I suspect that it is my sunglasses that may have caused said thing. I remember back in the day, I used to wash my sunglasses on a regular basis when I used to go to work because I used to get bumps over there. So today's vlog is going to be an interesting one. First of all, I did that to my hair. I did a video on how this happened. I don't know if it's up before this or after this. I'll link it in this vicinity, wherever it is. Um, today's vlog is one of those vlogs that I have never, ever, ever put up or shared with you guys. In that, I have a doctor's appointment for my son that I am going to later with him, taking him to, and I have been really anxious and dreading this doctor's appointment for some time now. Um, my son was born with spina bifida. If you don't know, link to all that jazz down below so you can catch yourself up. And because of that, he has to have all these different specialists that he goes to, most of which I am used to the Riffy Raw that they tell me um, some don't bother me at all, like optometry because his eyes are fine. Others, you know, I'm used to the issues like ortho because of all the ambulatory stuff. But this one, which is neurology, I haven't been looking forward to because I just, I don't know, I just don't feel like hearing anything bad. It's a rare occasion that anybody is with me when I take my son to these appointments. And so when I go to an appointment and I hear a bad thing, it's always just me. And I am not looking forward to it this afternoon. So if I do put this vlog up, it is my way of letting you guys have a peek into my world. Excuse my little thingy. Um, but letting you guys have a peek into my world. Um, not the most upbeat video, I don't think today, but this is life, so there I go. So I'm showing you guys these shoes because they were sent to me by Long Tall Sally um, to do a review on and keep. And yes, I'm wearing stripy socks. So, I may have just dropped milk on them while fixing Flickrbug's bottle, but I've always wanted some just Oxford situations, so I'm happy about them so far. First time actually wearing them out of the house, and I'm wearing one of my favorite t-shirts that I love, and these jeans that I got years ago from MakeYourOwnJeans.com. So anyway, I'm about to go run some errands before I take the boy over there, Mr. Bug himself, who's looking at me, to the hospital, which I don't want to do. Oh, this is from um, Von Mar. Anyway, all right. Hey, mister. Say hi. Say hi. I am in Walgreens because the other day I was looking for the natural deodorant from Arm & Hammer, this stuff, and all I could find was the men's one. And I was trying to see if I could find the women's one, if there is a women's one, which I don't know if this is it, but let me check and I will see. The men's one works really well though, but then I smell like a dude. No. Now, this joker was trying to take my phone from me, but I'm not giving it to him because I've given him my phone in the past, but last weekend, he threw that phone, this phone that I'm on so hard that now down in the corner, it's like showing dark. My contract is up at the end of November, so I still have a couple months before I can really switch up. And I don't have time for him jacking up my phone, so. I already gave him my old phone, but he likes, obviously, the phone mommy uses the best. So anyway, we're gonna keep running errands so we can turn around and make our way to the hospital. Oh, and you might wonder why I don't wanna go to neurology because as you can probably tell, my son is behind on his speech. And it may just be normal child behind on his speech type stuff as has happened in on both our sides of the family, my husband and my sides of the family, but because of all of his other medical problems, I just don't feel like hearing them attributed to anything that it's not. 
because that was like my whole pregnancy and I just I ain't I don't have time for that anybody got time for that today so uh, yeah that is why okay now we are headed in Walmart because cheese Okay, you guys, you would not believe everything that has happened since the last clip. I am a sweaty mess. I'm sure that the whole root of this twist out is sweated out. Um, I've been rained on. I've dropped stuff. It's just been a situation trying to get in and out of stores with my son and the boxes and the bags and stuff. I'm thinking I'm doing a good thing by running a few errands beforehand and then the car would not start. So I'm sitting in the parking lot waiting for the car to start and I lost 15 minutes, which was just ridiculous. So I got the stupid thing to start, ran home, did not turn the car off threw the stuff in the refrigerator and turned right back around. Now I am 20 minutes later out the door than I actually want to be for this stupid appointment. So my blood pressure is out the roof. Meanwhile, this joker in the back is squawking and screaming at me with good reason because he's like, why are we just sitting here in the rain and the car won't start? Hopefully when I come out of the appointment, the car will start. I've kind of pseudo made provision for that. The black car was tripping. And so we put that car into the um, mechanic. And this is actually the silver car that usually is not tripping. So for some reason, my cars have come against me and the devil stays busy trying to raise my blood pressure on my way to this appointment. I can't believe that this would be the kind of vlog that y'all want to see. But if y'all want to see what it's like, sometimes up in these streets, it's not all happy-go-lucky, boo-boo. Sometimes it kind of sucks. Okay, so we made it. We're at the hospital and we are on time, amazingly. Usually when I leave, what are you making faces? You want it? No, I'm not going to give it to you. All right, we're out of the appointment. It has been an hour and a half. And remember when the car wouldn't start? What well, we're gonna see if it starts right now. And if it doesn't, my father-in-law has offered to come help us. So let's do it right now. Look at this nosy bugger. <gasps> Thank you, Jesus. I'm on my way home. Uh, I have been in traffic for the past almost a half an hour because it's 5.41, so of course everybody's trying to get home and I am stuck in traffic. On a scale of one to 10, today has been a two. Um, it is on the sucky side, and I typically don't vlog on days like today, but I'm, you know, I know this is gonna help somebody. Besides, the insight into the life of a special needs mom is always important for me to show people some of that as much as I'm able to. So back to lay doctor's appointment he was super late coming in there flicker bug was losing his mind typically this is nap time sort of kind of but he has been really tripping at nap time lately and not really wanting to go to sleep so i knew he would be okay he was upset in the appointment but i don't know if it was because he was tired more so than his toy the battery was dying and he was just frustrated by that so and to you the appointment itself went way better than I expected. So I guess I just worked myself up into a froth for the past week, two weeks, for nothing. It's not like he didn't say anything. He did say stuff um, that sucked. But I'm kind of used to hearing stuff that sucks. Um, what I did not hear was the concerns I had about neurological function. And he seemed perfectly fine with him on that. So that actually is probably part of how today even got a two because that was what was really really making me anxious and he did not say anything about the fact or concern so that made me so happy of course there are other concerns that he brought up every time i go to this doctor i come out with a list like the length of my arm of crap i gotta do i have no idea how i am supposed to go get an office job and continue to provide the level of care <laughs> that I provide to my son 
as a stay-at-home mom with special needs son. I have no idea how people do this because there's just, it's a full-time job. But anyway, so yeah, I guess that's it for today's vlog. I can't really see myself vlogging that much more once I get out of all this traffic and I get home because I haven't eaten and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to be taking care of those logistics. Um, so I guess I'll just wrap this up. If you guys liked this vlog, I would really be interested in hearing from you because I kind of feel like it's a downer but it's real life so if you liked it let me know in the comment section down below while you're at it please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed as of yet I put up videos at least once a week and oftentimes I put them up more than that and if you did like this vlog thumbs up so that I will know and I will see you guys in the next video until next time be encouraged bye y'all and readers who are in the Virgin Islands or who want to travel to the Virgin Islands, Miss Naturalista is having their third annual I Am Beautiful Natural Hair Expo in October. And I have two tickets to give away to a lucky winner for the St. Thomas event. It's a celebration of natural hair, health, and...